Hi everyone, welcome back to Aphrodite Mennonil Tarot. Thanks very much for joining our channel today, it's very much appreciated. I'm going to be doing a general reading for Scorpio because I feel like you guys need it. And um, Scorpio, I kind of feel like you're going through um, a bit of a journey right now, so maybe I can try and explain something to you that will help you. So please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't make the story fit if it's not your story. If the story is vice versa, then reverse the roles. But um, it is a general reading and it's not for everybody. Okay, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. I did shuffle the cards earlier, but I had a bit of a problem with the video, so I had to shut it down. But anyway, I'm not going to shuffle again. Let's go story. Let's go with the story. All right, Scorpio, you come up in your own reading as, um, you know, the death card. This is an ending of a situation, something that you feel that you have to walk away from or turn your back on it, okay? Um, it is a release of a heavy burden because you are going through some sort of transformation to start a new beginning, okay? Um, yeah, so you know, I feel like you've had to turn your back or somebody turned their back on you or you turned your back on somebody else okay i think the reason why you're upset scorpio is because you gave up um you know you were very loyal to this person that you didn't look at all these other options that were available to you because you were trying to remain loyal to this person so either they turn their back on you or you turn your back on them okay we have the Queen of uh, Wands here, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. That might be the person that, you know, turned their back on you or you turn your back. But I do feel, see here, with, um, that's why I thought you were being loyal. You were being loyal. You were not looking at other options. You were looking at this person. Okay. So, um, with that Scorpio, Somebody turned their back on this situation and walked away. Either you or the other person, okay? I do feel, though, that your finances, if you're worried about them, they're going to be replenished. Or maybe this person was worried about their finances and they needed to just, you know, replenish that in their life, okay? But the Nine of Pentacles is also saying that you're coming in as somebody who is single and available, Scorpio. Okay. But definitely some sort of abundance is coming in. Look at that. You've got your ten of coins. So somebody's on their way to some sort of successful venture here. Okay. Um, both of you might be. But I don't see you doing it together. But had you done it together, probably would have been double this. Okay. But... Somebody's making a choice to do it on their own. And you're coming in as single Scorpio, okay? I do feel that there's some sort of contract or, or um, um, information that is going to come to you, Scorpio. It might be around the time of a gathering, okay? Um, this also may have been a third-party situation that the missing pieces are going to fall together. You're going to see something here, something at a time of a gathering, okay, regarding the, the um, Queen of um, Wands. But uh, this might be a contract for you, Scorpio, because um, this could be a new home, a new business, or, or something that is coming in. But if you look at the picture, the missing pieces of the puzzle is going to be put together. You're very intuitive anyway, Scorpio. You, I think you already know. You just, there's some things that you don't know. Okay. You've got a passionate new beginning coming in. This person may have walked away from you because something more uh, profitable was, was there for them. All right. But you've got a passionate brand new beginning that is coming in. Somebody had to make a choice between you and somebody else. You have to choose a direction on which way to go, okay? 
they they actually should have taken the blindfolds off before they did this but they didn't but this could be you too scorpio that you didn't take the blindfolds off but if it was the other person they chose they chose to go towards finances you were dealing with a bit of a devilish energy at the time somebody had toxic behavior somebody was back in their ego behavior or feeling that they had choices and you know other options available to them and you maybe you were in the way you were in the way but I do you feel that your nine of cups are coming in for you Scorpio um, there is a time of celebration that is coming in for you something you've been waiting on a wish fulfillment is coming your way okay we've got the uh, the king of uh, swords here Scorpio so you know what I, what I feel Scorpio is that um, that you felt that this person was lying to you that this person was not telling you the truth okay did they have passion for you yes did they love you I think so you know do they uh, wish that they could have had more to offer I think so but instead, harsh words were spoken here, Scorpio. Because, Scorpio, you have a tendency of shooting from the hips. Shoot first, ask questions later. You will hurt yourself before you hurt somebody else. Or you will hurt yourself before they hurt you because hurting yourself means that you will recover more quicker. And it's very hard for people to understand that. Okay, so I think at this stage, Scorpio, that you felt like you were betrayed that you were talked about, that you were not given the opportunity, um, that secrets were being held from you. God knows what's going on through your head, Scorpio, because you're so intuitive that, you know, you've got a hundred scenarios that are going through your head at the moment, okay? But listen to your heart, Scorpio. That That's what always saves you. Your heart is what saves you. You can't afford to go through all this stress. You can't afford to go through all this anxiety. It is not in your best interest. Get up, move forward, okay? Just keep moving forward. I feel for some of you, Scorpios, there's a new car. I see black, grey or white, okay? But even though the horses are black and white, there's, there's grey. There's a grey car. I don't know what that grey car is, but I feel like there's a grey car, all right? But um, were you loyal to this person? You are very loyal to this person. But it is time for you to move forward. Okay? Let people deal with whatever they want to deal with. Uh, you know, Scorpio, you need to understand that 2023... Go look at your astrology chart, okay? 2023 for Scorpios. There's a lot of endings and new beginnings that are happening, okay? Especially in the first three months. If you can survive the first three months of 2023, you got it made, girl or boy or whoever. But um, there is something that is coming for you, Scorpio. This is the year where you find your partner. This is the year where you settle with somebody. This is the year of possible marriage commitment for the long term. And when I say for the long term, for the happily ever after, okay? This is the year that whatever you want between uh, April and November, if not going into the, the following year, is going to gravitate your way, okay? And people are going to wish that they were more patient, that they waited, you know, but it is what it is. A cycle is coming to an end. Um, I do feel that what hurt you more, Scorpio, was that... This person should have came to see you, should have had a conversation with you, should have worked things out with you and you would have ended things on a better note. But instead, they chose to work out of their, their toxic behaviour and it puts you in a more toxic behaviour to protect yourself. Okay? So, Scorpio, clear your mind. You haven't done anything wrong. You love this person. You were loyal to them. Okay, you understood your whole situation. If it was a third party situation, you understood it. But Scorpio, you can't help but to go with your heart. It, 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 it's an automatic response. 
and you felt that this person loved you. You were not there to break up a marriage. You were not there to, to destroy this person. You were actually there to love and protect. And that's who you are. But you need to move on. Get out of this. Get out of this, Scorpio. You're too much in your head. You're overthinking. Wherever this person is, they are trapped. They are thinking about you also. But you need to move on. You need to move forward. Okay? There you go. See? I, I told you. You and this person were very happy together. And maybe they wish that they... Um, you know, had chosen you, but they, they can't for some reason. They can't choose you, okay? You've been around this person for many, many, many years, many cycles, many lifetimes, you know, you know each other. But at the end of the day, they chose somebody else, but you're moving on to your Ten of Cups. There's Ten of Cups coming, okay? And your Ten of Cups is coming because you're moving into your Empress Power. Look at you sitting there like you don't give a shit. But you can see something. You're staring at something. You're looking at something. There's something you can see. Look at the moon in the background. Is that the moon? It's not the moon, but it looks like the moon. Okay? So by the full, next full moon, Scorpio, you will be in your Empress power. That's how I feel. Okay? It's something to do with the planets aligning. You need, really need to look at your astral chart, okay? It's something to do with your planets aligning that when you move into this Empress power, that everything will come to you, okay? A lot of comfort, a lot of stability. You're going to be looking good in a lot of people's eyes. People are going to gravitate your way. They want to be with you. They see you as somebody that, um, different. You're different to others, Okay. There's an, uh, an aura about you, a light about you, and that's going to shine again. It is going to shine again. You're moving, Scorpio. You're moving to a house, a new home. You're carrying a heavy burden, but you're, you're doing it. You're doing it, and you're going to get there. Okay, well, look. Your mental clarity is because that you and this person cannot get on the same page to communicate properly, okay? I feel that they're, they're not telling you the truth. You might get 50% of the truth and that's why your intuition is just working overtime because you feel it, you feel it. You don't have to know it because you're like the high priest of Scorpio. You don't have to know, you feel it, okay? So, you know, there is going to be information that's going to confirm everything for you. But right now you're choosing to move on to Karma Waters. Okay. Someone's gravitating your way, Scorpio. Someone's making plans to come and see you. They miss you. They remember you. They missed the passion that you had together. If this is the, the person that broke your heart, Scorpio, they're coming back to fix it. I know you're going to be very guarded, but there is going to be communication. There is going to be messages that is going to be sent to you. Okay. You know, sometimes, Scorpio, that you feel that this person takes some things that you may say and use it against you all the time. Like they're picking, picking, picking. And that's why you're standing guarded. Because you're wondering, what did I do to this person? Yes, I shot at the hips, but I did it to protect myself. And there you are, standing at the door, protecting yourself. But at the end of the day, Scorpio, like I said, you always hurt yourself. Because you don't want to be hurt by other people. It's been many, many years of hurt and betrayal and secrets and lies. And you just, I think you want something different now. You want something different. Seems to be you're always caught up in third party situations, Scorpio. 
And if this is not your case, then there's a reason to celebrate that is coming your way, Scorpio. All right. You do have a lot of love for this person. And maybe you wish that you had one more night with them. Maybe you wish that they told you in a loving way. Maybe you wish that they didn't lie to you. Look at that, Scorpio. You and this person should have grown old together, but otherwise there is somebody that is gravitating your way, somebody that's going to offer you love, stability, and is going to give you a, a, a happily ever after at the end of the day. Old person, new person, your wishes are going to be given this year. I told you, 2023 is the year that you meet the person that you're supposed to spend the rest of your life with. Okay? All right. What have we got here? Yeah. There's a... Um, look, either this person is coming in to give you equal give and take, or there is no equal give and take, and the hands are separating. We can't be together. They're letting go. You're letting go. But somebody is trying to find their strength. This could be you, Scorpio. Somebody's trying to find their strength and courage, or both of you. Both of you. Both. You know, honestly, this could be the person that you're dealing with. Okay? And this could be you. You know, together you're very strong. Apart, you're very weak. But this could be you giving each other the energy to, to become stronger. But there's healing that's taking place here, yeah, Scorpio. Okay. Does this person love you? Yes, they do. Do you know why they did this? No, you don't. Your head's got a million scenarios going on, but you don't really know. You may know half the truth. All you're waiting for is the other half. Okay. But you're definitely feeling left out in the cold, Scorpio. Okay. But there's help coming. There's help that's on its way. This is not a complete ending. It may feel like it, but it's not. It's actually a transformation and awakening. Uh, something that had to happen in order to bring things in more properly. Okay? To make a situation better, you have to go through the bad times before it becomes better. So this is not a complete ending for some reason. For some reason. I don't know what the reasons are. So... I feel like somebody's um, taking on a, a new job, an opportunity, maybe a business venture, okay? But you're also replenishing your finances, Scorpio. Maybe this other person is too, okay? There is going to be some truth and clarity that is going to be spoken. I feel like between you and this person, there's an unspoken unspoken love or an unspoken truth you see the problem is that when you're in a third party situation and you start developing feelings for the other person you try and hold back those feelings you try and not say things like the i love you and the um you know to be able to be open to each other to be able to be free to do whatever you want you know that's not the case you can't do that in a third-party relationship. There's always going to be secrets. There's always going to be lies. And it's always going to be betrayal at the end of the day. Okay? But truth is coming in. Somebody's rushing in to speak their truth to you, Scorpio. Okay? They want to get you out of feeling left out in the cold. They want to bring healing to a situation. Okay? I kind of feel this is not really an ending. It's more a goodbye for now. Okay? Somebody's waiting for their ships to come in, or somebody might be returning, or from, or you're waiting. Let's start again. Somebody either is returning from travel. There might be a way. There might be a distance between you and this person right now. Okay. Um, maybe you're waiting for your ships to come in. Maybe they're waiting for their ships to come in. But I feel like this is you, Scorpio, trying to decide a direction on where you're going to go, making plans. You may travel. You may travel, Scorpio.
Yeah, I, I think you did shoot from the hip, Scorpio. But you're in a much calmer place. By the time this conversation happens here, you will be in a calmer place. Because I feel like that's all you wanted. You wanted this person to come to you. You wanted to, this person to, to sit and speak with you and work things out and understand what's going on. But instead, they made themselves look very secretive. Okay? They made themselves look like that they have betrayed you. And in a way, they have, Scorpio. You just haven't got all the information yet. But I see you planting seeds, Scorpio. I see you investing, making money. This could be the other person as well. But I see you doing it. But you're not doing it together. You're doing it separately. But there is an opportunity for you, okay, to grow your money, to be more successful and to, you know, plant more seeds. So you've got more shade, Scorpio. You're quite happy with the, um, the way things are going now. And you know, you can actually foresee that, you know, you will get there, Scorpio. You can see that. Okay. But this has been a tremendous heartache for you. A tremendous heartache for you. And I still feel that there's more information that is coming your way. See the three swords? There may have been more than three people involved in this situation. This is you, this is the person, this is the partner, and this is the new person. Look who's got the heartache, not the partner. Sorry, not the partner, not the not the person you were dealing with, and not the not the new one. Okay. But your heart is bleeding, Scorpio, but look at that. Information is going to come to you, Scorpio, regarding the Queen of Coins. This is somebody that may have their own business. This is somebody that has a home, finances, okay? Um, secrets are going to be revealed here. Something is coming out in the open. It came in upside down. Lies, secret betrayals. It's coming out. You might be dealing with a Pisces, Scorpio, or your person is dealing with a Pisces. Your person is either dealing with an air sign, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or a Pisces. Okay. Um, I want to say Cancer, Scorpio, but um, yes, Scorpio is here because it's your reading. Um the Cancerian might be more on your partner's side. Definitely a Leo. Leo Cancer. Leo Virgo. But let's move on. Yeah, look. You're going to find out about some sort of manipulation, Scorpio. Something that was trying to be hidden from you. But you're going to find out anyway. Okay. I do feel this person wants to talk to you before you find out. But you're going to find out anyway. Yeah, look, you're over it. You're over this battle, the repeated patterns. Uh, no, you don't want to fight this anymore, Scorpio. You've had enough. This person always keeps you in the dark. They, 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 they remove the light that once shot, you know, shone from you, or shined from you. God, I can't even talk. But. You know, they took your light away. They took your energy away. Why would they do this to you, Scorpio? Ask yourself. The only way that this person can do this to you is if they have chosen another person over you. And that's what you feel. But look at that. Look at that. Well, Scorpio, I do feel that you are going to go through a healing process and... The healing process is going to um, help you because you're willing to give love one more try. You will open that door for somebody because this is your year, Scorpio. This is where it all begins. You know, any time between March, um, oh, February, really, any time between February um, to December this year, 
there is somebody gravitating your way that wants to offer you more than just friendship, benefits. They see you as marriage material. They see you as somebody they can spend the rest of their life with, okay? You know, this is happiness that is coming your way. Things are going to be illuminated, Scorpio. The sun is coming out and things are going to be very, very clear, all right? Especially on this secret that's been hidden. You're actually praying. You're praying, okay? You've gone into a period of isolation and you're working on yourself and you are uh, meditating and you are praying to be healed because, um, quite frankly, Scorpio, I don't know if I said it in the beginning of the video, but you, you will hurt yourself before someone else hurts you. So you will make the story bigger and you will you will cut people's heads off and you will shoot people down. And then after the, all that is said and done, you, you sit there and say, now tell me the story. But who's there to tell you the story, Scorpio? No one. But people don't understand that you're only protecting yourself. Okay? Because really at the end of the day, do you really give a shit how people live their life or do whatever they want to do? No. It's only when their intention is to hurt you that you will protect. And that's the behavior of a Scorpio in the wild as well. Okay? So you're asking for an answer. You're asking for protection. You're asking for your light to be shone again. And it is going to, it is going to shine again. Okay? There you go, Scorpio. You've got endings and brand new beginnings. You're looking into your future. Your prayers have been answered. Okay? You are coming out of feeling stuck. You are coming out of feeling stuck. We've got the king of coins here. This is a very stable man, woman. Okay? So, either you're coming in as the king of coins, Scorpio, where you have the stability could be the past person, the person that let go of you, that comes back with more stability. Or well, this could be the new one, the one that wants the commitment, possible marriage, living together, moving in together, but being free to, as a couple, to be able to walk around freely, you know, express your emotions freely, um, you know, have that loving connection that you've been holding back from. Because even though you gave that person the third party person. Yeah, you gave them passion. But you never really gave the full amount that you can give, Scorpio, because you didn't want to hurt yourself at the end of the day. You gave passion, but not not a hundred percent of what you can give. And you know that. There was always going to be a 50-50 there with you. If I give you everything, you are going to put me in my grave. <laughs> Because when you love Scorpio, you love from the heart. And nobody can change that. You will always do that. But you are the best healer, Scorpio. You go through death and transformation all the time. You will heal from this. But this person is a serious contender. Okay? All right. Yeah, somebody's coming your way, Scorpio. Somebody that you may take a leap of faith with. I told you, this person wants a commitment with you. Okay? Your prayers are being answered if that's what you're asking for. But for some reason, you need to make a choice. Why do you need to make a choice here, Scorpio? There you go. You're standing guarded again. Somebody's coming. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, look at that. Here you go, Scorpio. This person that let you go because they wanted to fulfill or play around or do whatever they want to do. Is now coming back. That's why. Is now coming back your way. Because they want another opportunity with you. But they're coming in as a king of wands. And they're asking you to make a choice. So who do you want to make your commitment to, Scorpio? Who do you who do you want to settle down with? Who do you want to move in with? Do you want to move in with the king of coins? Or do you want to... Do you want to go with the, the King of Wands? Because the King of Wands possibly is more stable now. And I feel like the King of Wands is older than the King of um, Pentacles. 
Okay. You're going to have to make a decision here. See, this is also judgment because whoever the person from the past was that betrayed you, this is a karma now. Okay. Well, karma in the way of like, you knew, Scorpio, that you and this person were always meant to be together. Okay. You may have been together for a period of one, two, three, four, five, six, well, six years or more. Okay. But let's go back six years ago. Six years ago, you offered love to this person. Okay. Look at the butterflies. Spirits directed, brought this person to you and brought you together and, and was protecting you. So, Try not to allow other people to come in. But they may have gone through so many people before they realized who you were, Scorpio. So now judgment is, is here. You're going to have to make a decision between two. One of them is your twin, twin flame. One of them is your twin flame. Okay? So I feel, Scorpio, that, you know, you will go with where your heart gravitates. Because Ace of Cups is new opportunity, a new person. New person. And there you go. Where you were crying earlier, this person may be crying later. But I do feel that, that you know, this King of um, Pentacles will put a lot of work and effort into this relationship because they want it. Okay, they see you as the High Priestess. They see you as somebody who's very um, childlike, you know, like easygoing, very calm. Um, this person might be interested in music uh, or they play a guitar or they live near water. Okay, so I don't know whether it's the king of um, coins or the, or the king of wands that you're going to choose. Okay, you're very confused about the choice here. Very confused. But somebody's rushing in. Somebody's rushing in to save this. Okay, um, they're very passionate about you. They may have made a mistake, but, you know, you're sitting in your power now. You're coming in as the King of Cups. The King of Cups and, and the High Priestess are, are a very powerful person. A very powerful, intuitive person. Okay? Sometimes um, with you, Scorpio, this could be you. And I think with the King of Cups, it is you. You know, and you always feel that you have to gravitate to towards water just to keep your peace. Okay, but you will be in your high priestess energy in February. Okay, uh, February is a crucial month for you, a very crucial month. Okay, yeah, you might find out about somebody's sneaky behavior. You may find out the truth about this person from your past. They're very confused over you, Scorpio. You know, in... Let's defend this person for a little while. They're very confused over you. Do they love you? Yes, they do love you. But they can't keep you stuck. They want you to go. They need you to go. They're going to continue making mistakes, but they're going to get caught, Scorpio. But that's just the way it is. It is the way it is. You can't stop this cycle from happening. And I think you are accepting that now, that you need to gravitate and move far away from this person, okay? It is not completely over for some reason. It is not completely over. There's some unfinished business maybe between you and this person. Um, maybe there's supposed to be a business opportunity between you and this person. Um, but I feel like this person um, wants to be victorious on their own. Okay. But together you would have had a victory. Together you would have had a victory. But they want to be in control of their own life. They want to do whatever they want, see whoever they want, be with whoever they want, okay? And you are going to turn around and say, well, you know what? Go do whatever you effing want. <laughs> do whatever you effing want. So am I. I'm going to do what I want. But this person is going to come in and speak to you, okay? 
look, it's something to do with finances. I don't know what the situation is, but it's something to do with finances here, okay? An opportunity that has opened up for them, okay? And they want to be able to be free to deal with other people that they're going to be doing a business with or sharing finances with or whatever, okay? Why are you in the way? I don't know. Why are you in the way? But I'm going to tell you something. This is not good. Okay? Something is going to come out of the box. This person um, is looking for, you know, to replenish finances. Okay? Um, but they're not doing their homework. They're just excited about it. But they're not doing their homework because look at that the justice card is upside down so they're not doing their homework you know if they probably had gone towards the high priestess and and explained or or um put it put it forward to them the high priestess probably would have found the loophole the loophole that is going to be discovered okay but they didn't do that so there is no justice in this situation yet. But there is a victory for you. Okay? We have the Six of Cups here. Somebody from your past that wants, is thinking about you or wants to come in and speak to you. They have a, a passion and desire to, to come and see you. Okay? I told you it's not over. Well, not yet anyway. Okay? They want to talk to you about opportunities. They, want, they do now want to talk to you, okay? What is it that you know, Scorpio? Because obviously you have experience. They have experience too, but you, you can see things more clearly. You can vision things. You, you pick up things through conversations. Words that were spoken that, that in the midst of everybody's excitement... Um, because you're not involved in all this, you, you you hear the words loud and clear, whereas other people don't, okay? Yeah, somebody is really, really worried. They're in, they're in their head about their finances, okay? Scorpio, you are the star. You are the star. And look at this. You are going to come out of this energy here, okay? This is the energy of somebody who has been sleeping alone, Okay, they put a pillow there behind their back to make them feel like they're not alone. Okay, they feel protected in their room. Okay, but this person cries at night. This person cries at night. But you're going to get up, Scorpio. You're going to get up and you're going to move forward and you're going to go back into your high priestess energy, your empress energy. People are going to gravitate towards you, Scorpio. There's something different about you, Scorpio, but you cannot be in this state anymore. Don't ever allow anybody to keep you in that state. Okay? Whoever they chose, they will find themselves sleeping alone eventually. Okay? But you're creating your path there, Scorpio. There you go. You're creating your path to go towards your wish fulfillment. And I, your wish fulfillment is going to come in, Scorpio. All right. You know, whatever happened between you and this person, um, I still feel a lot of love there. It's, it's, it's very confusing, but look, this person is not completely leave, leaving your life, nor are you leaving his, but there will be a time of separation. There may be a time of no communication at all. And then this person comes gravitating back your way. Okay? But Scorpio, 2023 is your year. Definitely your year when somebody is going to enter your life. Whether it's past person or new person, this is the year of marriages, commitments, um, meeting your, your person. If that's what you want, it will happen this year. So get out, get about, go, go, go dancing, go traveling, go do whatever it is. But get out of your room. Get out of this, okay? You will clear the air between you and this other person. 
if there's no communication you will clear the air okay you want the truth from this person you're never going to get the truth because if they really told you the truth you would never come out of this never so sorry about my nails <laughs> but if they really told you the truth you will never come out of your room because of the love that you have for this person so don't go looking for the truth scorpio truth is going to be put in front of you anyway you get 50 50 of the story 70 50 70 percent of the story who cares anymore who really cares when you've got this king of coins that is gravitating your way or maybe the emperor is coming your way or maybe the king of wands is coming your way but whoever is coming your way scorpio is coming in to give you a commitment of a lifetime where is that card i can't find it now but they're coming in to give you the commitment of a lifetime yeah i seriously can't find it but i know it's there all right you're going to grow old with this person you are definitely going to grow old with this person okay and who knows what's going to happen with this person from the past whether it is the one that you're going to grow old with or if it's the new person but there's certainly a lot of toxic behavior that is going on amongst people and i think you will remove yourself from that picture take a lick but faith scorpio the universe is sending you somebody your way get up get out and show yourself to the world let that light shine again scorpio because it's been dim for a while okay do not let people dim your lights because what goes around will come around and you're a very great believer in karma scorpio okay so this is what you want go out and get it it's there for you it's it's there okay the passion between you and this person amazing it's a lifetime journey trust me on this scorpio get up get out go go do not wait on people to give you their time, attention, and wait for space in their life, okay? If somebody wanted you to be there, they would They would make an effort. They would come to you. They would talk to you. They will, they will explain things to you. They will be truthful to you. But all you ever get is lies, secrets, and betrayal, Scorpio. But honestly, Give your kisses to, to the sky, to the universe for bringing this person into your life, okay? I don't think you have any qualms with the past person. You just don't like the repeated cycles that this person does to you all the time. All right, Scorpio, love yourself a little bit more. I just want to cry right now, but I'm happy for you, Scorpio. See you next time.